Redemption is beyond us. The lament of all but saints and fools, and the comfort of the lords and ladies of this accursed place. Once they held fast against the madness, only to embrace the coming cataclysm and delight in the end of days. Perhaps in rapture they seek to lose themselves and the misery they share. Or perhaps for them alone, the promise of eternal pleasure really does hold true. Lord and Lady Chai, pray forgive our intrusion. I am given to understand you are in search of an artist. Ah, you must be the new, uh... Oh, goodness me! <laughs> what an adorable boy! That silken hair, those pearly cheeks, oh, And you even smell wonderful! Like a bed of flowers. I approve of this one, dearest. I am positive he'll paint us the most delightful pictures. I, uh, uh y yes. <coughs> well, I mean, as long as he paints better than that talentless wretch we sent back in last week. You know, if it please you, my lady. And this is my assistant. Your assistant? I've heard of folk bringing in family members, but this seems a bit irregular. Aren't you a little young to have a protege? We are family in all but name, my lord. Though we share no blood, we have stood by each other through life's many challenges. Resolve to prevail together, or not at all. Of all people, tis she who best understands my work. With her unique insight guiding my hand, the art I create is sure to satisfy your expectations. Once the picture has begun, of course, I shall have no need of constant encouragement. And so I wondered, rather than her being in your way, might it then be permissible for my assistant to explore the city she has so longed to see? Out of gratitude for her priceless contribution to my art, I thought it only fair that I make this humble request on her behalf. Oh, did you ever hear of such devotion? Of course your assistant must have her wish. She shall be free to roam to her heart's content. Isn't that right, darling? Uh, oh yes, yes, of course, dearest. Qu quite right. Three. 
he is attended by Sin Eaters. But how does he keep them from attacking? Ah, mercy! Mercy! By the Twelve! Kaifia, what happened to you? Who are these impudent louts? I do not recall requesting their presence. Lord Vortry, what is the meaning of this? Why is this poor man bleeding to death on your floor? Why? You ask me why? Because criminals must be punished. And this man is guilty of fraud. He came to us claiming to be a man of business. Yet his subsequent conduct has shown him to be anything but. Your is a city built on love for one's fellow man. Those who have naught to give and live only to take are a blight upon our society! To atone for this crime, I ordered that he fling himself from the balcony. And he had the temerity to weep. Please, my lord! <laughs> Anything but that! What then is a man of mercy to do? But offer the sinner another way to show his contrition. Another way meaning what exactly? Sin eaters are part of Yulmore society. But they must be fed with ether. Living ether. So. I demanded an offering of flesh, carved by his own hand, from his own hide. And still, still, he could not do as I asked. A wholly unsatisfactory performance. It is true that Kai Shia won his place here by fraud. But his actions were driven only by desire to share in your paradise. That you would cast him out, I could almost accept. But to humiliate him thus? To demand his very life? Is this truly the way of Yulmor? Oh, you dim, deluded child. Have you ever paused to consider what it takes to maintain such a paradise in this barren, broken world of ours? The guarantee of safety and stability. The knowledge that if one only abides by the rules, one has naught to fear. I alone can offer these things, for I alone can command the Sin Eaters. And thus am I alone the voice of justice, and any who oppose me, villains to be punished. And people call this paradise. were granted a place in my city for a particular skill. What was it? Painting. Oh, an artist! Then you shall paint a picture for me of Yulmo. If I find your art pleasing, then I may excuse this display of insolence. Who 
gave you permission to tend to that criminal's wounds. I told you to paint me a picture! What you need is a mirror, not a painting. It will capture the horror I see before me far better than I ever could. Can you walk? I think so. Did that little worm just insult me? I'll kill them! I'll kill them all! I'll enslave their minds! I'll torment them! Torture them! Then tear out their 